Hello everyone! So today we're going to simplify expressions with rational exponents. So we have 10 examples for this topic. So let's start with number 1. Let's say we have 100 raised to 1 half. So as you can see, the base here is 100. And then 1 half, we call this as the exponent. But this time, this is a rational exponent. So, as you can see, the exponent is a fraction. Okay? So, uh, let us answer this. We have 100 raised to 1 half. So, first step is we're going to rewrite 100 into exponential form. Okay? So, 100 in exponential form, that is equal to 10 squared. Okay? So, 10 squared is equal to 100. And then, raised to 1 half. So, after that, we're going to simplify this expression. We all know that the denominator of this 2 is 1. So, you just copy first 10. Then, 2 times 1. So, this is 2. Then, over 1, the denominator 1, times 2, we have 2. Then, we all know that 10... Uh, we all know that 2 divided by 2 is 1. So, that is equal to 10. Okay? Next, number 2. Let's say we have 216 raised to 1 third. Okay. So, again, the base is 216. And then the exponent, the rational exponent is 1 third. Now, we're going to write 216 into exponential form. That is equal to 6 cubed. Okay? So, this is the exponential form of 216. Okay? So, raise it to 1 third. That is equal to 6. Raise to 3 times 1 third. That is 3 over 3, right? Or that is equal to 1. So, we have 6 raised to 1. Or the answer is x. Okay? Next, number 3. So, let's say we have 10,000 raised to 1 fourth. Okay. So, again, 10,000. Write that one into exponential form. That is 10 raised to 4. Okay? Then raised to 1 fourth. So, this is equal to 10 raised to 4 over 4. So, this is equal to 10 raised to 1 or we have 10. Okay? Next, number 4. Let's say we have negative 8 raised to 1 third. Okay. So, here, you're going to write negative 8 into exponential form this is equal to negative 2 then enclose it in a parenthesis cube okay negative 2 cube is equal to negative 8 because we have negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 that is negative 8 okay so we have negative 8 so negative 2 cube is negative 8 then raise it to one third. Okay. Then multiply the using the power to a power law of exponent. You're going to multiply three and then one third. So that is negative two raised to three over three. So that is one right. So we have here negative two. The answer is negative two. Next. Number 5. Let's say we have negative 32 raised to 1 fifth. Okay. So, here, this is the same as number 4. So, write negative 32 into exponential form. That is negative 2 raised to the fifth power. Then raised to 1 fifth. Okay. So, we have here... Negative 2 raised to 
5 over 5. So, using the power to a power law of exponent. So, the answer here is negative 2. Okay? Number 6. Let's say we have negative 25 raised to 1 half. Now, let us see if it has an answer. We have negative 25. If we're going to write that into exponential form, we have negative 5 raised to the second power. If we're going to get the answer of negative 5 squared, the answer is positive 25, right? Because negative 5 times negative 5, the answer here is 25, right? Which is not the base of this expression. So here, the answer for number 6 is undefined. Okay? Next, number 7. Let's say we have negative 64 raised to 1, 6. So, again, let us rewrite 64, negative 64 into exponential form. Let's say we have negative 2 raised to the 6th power. Now, is negative 2 raised to the 6th power equals to 64? So... Again, this is equal to positive 64, which is not the same as the base of this expression. Therefore, again, this is undefined. Undefined or the expression is undefined in the set of real numbers. Okay, next, number 8. Let's say we have negative 16 raised to 1 fourth. So, here in number 8, notice that there is no parenthesis. Okay? That separates 16, negative 16 to its exponent. So, meaning to say, the base of 1 fourth is only 16. The base of 1 fourth is only 16. So, here... We're going to write negative. Then let us write 16 into exponential form. That is 2 raised to the 4th power. Okay? So 2 raised to the 4th power, this is equal to positive 16 only. Okay? Then raised to 1 fourth. So we have here negative of, using the power to a power law of exponents, 4 times 1 fourth. That is 2 raised to 4 over 4. Okay? So, that is equal to, here we have negative sign outside the parenthesis. So, we have negative. Then, let us simplify this. We have 2 raised to 4 over 4. That is 2 raised to the first power or 2 only. So, times negative. So, we have negative 2. Okay? Next, number 9. Number 9, we have negative 16 raised to 1 fourth. So, this time, there is already a parenthesis. So, meaning to say that the base of this rational exponent 1 fourth is negative 16. Right? So, let's see. We have, if we're going to write 16 into negative 16 into exponential form, we have negative 2 raised to the fourth power if we're going to multiply negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. This one, this is positive 4. This is positive 4 also. If we're going to multiply, the result is positive 16. Which is not the same as negative 16, right? Therefore, here for number 9, this is undefined again. Okay? Or, the expression is undefined in the set of real numbers. Okay? For the last one, number 10, let's say we have negative 9 raised to 1 half. Okay, so the base of the rational exponent 1 half is only 9, not negative 9. But then if we're going to enclose that in a parenthesis, the base of uh, this expression is negative 9. But then, since there is no parenthesis, 
Therefore, we can say that the base is positive 9. Then, we have here negative. Then, rewrite 9 into exponential form. We have 3 squared, right? Close that in a parenthesis. To separate the negative sign, then raise to 1 half. Okay? So, we have negative of 3 raised to 2 over 2, right? So, 2 divided by 2 is 1. So, we have here 3 only. Then, copy negative sign. Okay. So, that's it for today. I hope that you learned now how to uh, simplify expressions with rational exponents. So, don't forget to like, comment if you have questions, share it with your classmates, subscribe, and then click the notification button for more videos and updates. Thank you.